Hi, I'm Chris Mutchler, VCDX257 from virtualelephant.com. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can leverage Cilium as a container networking interface for Kubernetes and get up to speed with its more advanced capabilities through the labs offered by Isovalent. Let's get started. Cilium is a popular open source networking and security project for Kubernetes. And Isovalent is one of the companies heavily involved in its development. Cilium is designed to provide high-performance networking and security capabilities for Kubernetes clusters using the Container Network Interface plugin architecture. Some of the key features of the Cilium CNI are high-performance networking, and they're doing this by leveraging the Extended Berkeley Packet Filter, or eBPF, inside the Learn Linux kernel to be able to achieve efficient packet processing and low latencies. In addition, Cilium provides security and load balancing uh, features as well to be able to do network-based uh, encryption, identity-based security policies, and transparent encryption between services, as well as being an API-aware network security uh, interface and being able to enforce security policies at the application layer by understanding what Kubernetes and its services are doing inside the cluster, as well as having a deep integration with Kubernetes. Uh, Cilium allows Kubernetes features and objects for network policy enforcement, service discovery, and load balancing. Um, they've also recently added service mesh integration as well with Envoy to allow service-to-service -service communications and implement advanced traffic management and security features. And probably most importantly, it's open source and community driven, and it's recently graduated uh, through the CNCF uh, incubation period as well. Um, this is one of my favorite CNIs to leverage inside of a cluster, and I found that the advanced capabilities of Cilium really allow a enterprise architect or a SRE or any sort of Kubernetes operator to be able to become more familiar with uh, the advanced capabilities and things that you're going to want to be able to do when you create a Kubernetes service offering. So one of the great things that Cilium has done recently is they've actually um, released these uh, labs that you can perform online uh, through a virtual environment. And what they've done most recently is they went and actually created several personas that you can use uh, based on what your focus is inside of the Kubernetes environment. So whether you're a cloud network engineer, a security professional, a platform engineer, you're doing platform ops, things like service mesh, or more like myself, you're a cloud architect. They have tracks with various labs inside of them that you can complete um, to be able to become more familiar with the advanced capabilities of what Cilium has to offer as a CNI. If you just take a look here at like the cloud network engineer, you can see that you know there's most of these labs will take you less than an hour to perform. I went through all of the cloud architect labs just in the last week. Um, even the longest one, which you can see here is the, the cluster mesh one, which they say takes about 60 minutes. That was the only one that actually took close to an hour. The rest of the labs really only took between 15 and 30 minutes. But you can see here that they have a variety of topics to get you um, some experience with Cilium and to be able to understand the feature set that it has um, across the board. So getting started, whether you want to learn more about BGP, load balancers, um, really the Cilium uh, load balancer IPAM, the cluster mesh, I will say that this lab was really challenging and I enjoyed it a lot and I learned a lot. Um, and this is one of the things that I'm actually working uh, on in my own home lab to be able to build out multiple clusters spread across my internal home lab that I run here that leverages the VMware SDDC stack as well as an AKS cluster running out in Azure. And really each one of these tracks is a good uh, starter course for you to become familiar with what Cilium is doing. And then once you finish one or all of these tracks that you might be interested in, they also have a more extensive lab resource library. And I'll provide links for all of this in the description of the video below. But you can see here that they have all sorts of things around security visibility, connectivity visibility. This is really gonna be around Hubble. If you need to use 
uh, gateway APIs and being able how to do that. L7 load balancing with Kubernetes services. Really just a great opportunity for you to become really fully aware of all of the advanced feature set that Cilium has to offer when you leverage it inside of uh, inside of a Kubernetes cluster. So that's really it. I just wanted to be able to give you a quick overview of where you can go to learn more about Cilium, get your hands dirty with it, and be able to experience some of its more advanced features and functionality that it has to offer within a Kubernetes cluster. Please be sure to check out my other videos that I've created on how to deploy an open source based Kubernetes environment leveraging Cilium as well as being able to leverage Cilium as your CNI inside of AKS. Those videos are going to be linked in the description below. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please feel free to leave comments below, like the video, and if you're looking for more content around Kubernetes and how to leverage it and learn more about enterprise architecture topics, please be sure to subscribe to my channel below. Thanks and see you soon.